What's up guys, Max here, and welcome back to another Black Ops 2 with Maximilian video, and we're going to be doing a weapon breakdown today, similar to the one we did before, highlighting the MSMC. So any of you guys that might have had uh, a chance to tune into some of my personal weapon breakdown videos in this game, or for the previous title, Modern Warfare 3, you kind of know or might understand that I do weapon breakdowns a little bit different than everyone else. Sure, we're going to take a look at the stats, and sure, we're going to talk a little bit about how they're going to affect your game and how you have to use those stats to make your gameplay a little bit better using this certain weapon, but a lot of the situations that I'm going to use in this breakdown are based off my personal experience. Stats say one thing, but when you actually use a gun and go into combat and spend a lot of time and get like one to 2,000 kills with a certain weapon, you're going to start to understand little different things about the gun and how it's best used in certain situations, what are the best attachments, and that's kind of my big approach to weapon breakdowns, my personal experience with making the gun effective, and today we're going to be talking about the MTAR. The MTAR is actually uh, the similar similar weapon to the one that was in Modern Warfare 2. The I think it was the TAR-21 in Modern Warfare 2 was one of my favorite weapons in that game, and it was really good. And the MTAR in this one... For the most part, early in its uh, in the game's life cycle for Black Ops 2 wasn't very good. There were some issues with it locking onto targets with something related to auto-aiming, something along that nature, but they did change that and the MTAR seems to fit pretty nicely amongst some of the other assault rifles. However, for the most part, if you guys want to do extremely good at Black Ops 2, SMGs are definitely the way to go. Assault rifles tend to be a fairly challenging experience. If you actually want to set yourself up for a challenge, unless you have certain certain select assault rifles like the uh, select fire single shot ones, you're gonna have um, a little bit a little bit not as easy a time as you would with an SMG. But they're still a lot of fun and they still can be very effective. So let's talk about the MTAR. MTAR is a relatively average assault rifle. It's got about 30 bullets in it. Extended clip only gives you 40, which doesn't really make it worth it. It's got fairly average damage, doing about 40 at close range and about 24 at minimum damage distance. So that means that within any close range distance, you're going to do about three bullet deaths to any person. And from a long range gunfight, whether it's a silencer or whatever, it's going to take about five shots. There's some other unique things about this weapon if we start looking at the stats a little bit more. In comparison to some other assault rifles, the kind of hugest bummer about this one is that it's got one of the worst reload times of all the ARs in the game. Um, it takes like two and a half seconds to fully reload the weapon, and even almost a full three seconds if you're empty. And that tends to be a very big thing in Black Ops 2, especially running out of ammunition with assault rifles, because the rate of fire on top of how quickly enemies enemies come at you and sleight of hand not being as good as some previous titles and actually taking up one of those precious attachment spots that you might not want to sacrifice that's a pretty big thing you would be surprised how how dramatically reload time will affect how good you how good you can do with the gun its rate of fire is capped at about 720 which is identical to the M27 however when we talk about using the MTAR in the situations I actually find it to be effective in this gameplay, you're seeing me use a silencer and a red dot sight. Now, the red dot sight is absolutely not necessary, although the iron sights aren't the best of the MTAR. The red dot sight does seem to concentrate your fire a little bit more, and I do like it in a lot of situations where you have an AR and a, uh, and a, uh, and a silencer, for example. It seems I just, for some reason, I can lock onto my target a lot faster with it. A lot of people have mentioned using things like the uh, the target finder with this with this gun, although I have not found that to be extremely effective. It's kind of one of those things where if you're in a situation where there's a lot of snipers sitting in a distance, like drone or something like that, and you know they're going to be on the opposite end hanging out on the sniper cliff, target finder will just rip all those guys a new one, and you're going to get those kills really fast unless they kill you. However, the one absolute necessary attachment I found for this gun, and the one that I actually like the most out of all of them, is the silencer. It's really weird how silencers affect guns recoil, they affect how the weapon performs in some in some variation, but with the MTAR I feel that the silencer just works the best. This is actually my favorite silenced assault rifle next to the single shot select fire guns like the FAL and the SMR. Uh, so when it comes to full auto assault rifles, I really, really, really like the MTAR silenced. And I can't really recommend any other attachments that you guys use other than that one. That one seems to work with this gun the best. And this was the first gun I got gold, and I got gold by using silencer the entire time. Naturally, some perks go really well with that ghost, things of that nature to allow, to allow you to infiltrate enemy spawns. And you'll be doing a lot of that if you're going to be using a silencer and this gun. Ghost can work very well with things like silencers, as you all know. Which kind of put it as like, you know, when I was comparing it to SMGs, it's kind of a not as good SMG because most other SMGs do fairly comparable and similar damage. However, they have more bullets, so it's like, ah, uh, trade-off is not very worth it. 
but the MTAR for the most part is going to put anybody down at any distance at least in five shots and three shots up close and that's a good thing even if you're running a silenced AR and you'll find that if you just keep using the gun a bit more and you get used to its recoil patterns they're not that bad and in comparison to some other guns like the SCAR which recoil very high but consistently you you start to get used to this stuff and especially when it comes to a game like Black Ops 2 understanding how your gun works and how to land that first hit and get the rest of the bullets to land on target is very important and doing things like burst firing with this weapon from a long distance like a single shot three burst not switching to burst fire as far as your attachment but actually manually controlling it will take out those longer targets much quicker in a lot of situations you might be having difficulty shooting a guy with a silencer so hopefully some of this advice will help you guys out uh, the MTAR is actually one of my personal favorite assault rifles in the game and it kind of makes sense that it's the first one if there's a specific gun you guys want to see me do a breakdown for whether it's an SMG and AR a shotgun something like that please leave a comment below and if you found any of this information useful and it actually helps you out in the game I'd really appreciate knowing that as well. That's like the biggest thing that I can possibly know that this stuff is actually helping you guys online. But until next time, my name is Max, signing out.